and then we come to the while loop. The while loop is saying if I'm pressing the key escape, do everything within the loop. Then we have an if statement. It says if I'm pressing the key left, do everything within the if statement. Here I am uh, declaring a variable of type direction. Remember, add a enumeration of called direction up here. So um, this variable has a value of left. Remember left has a value of 0 so this variable will also have a value of 0. Here is where I am going to blit a portion of the sprite sheet onto the buffer. Remember blitting allows you to take a portion of a sprite sheet and then put it on a buffer or a screen. All you need is the width and height of the frame and then the upper left corner of the frame you want to draw. So these two values here are, hold the upper left corner of the frame you want to draw. This is the value you will get from MS Paint. So the values here. So remember I have initialized frame to 0 so this will be 0 and remember that direction also has a value of 0 so I'm going to be drawing the frame that has the upper um, that has the upper left coordinate of 0 0 so pretty much I'm going to be drawing the first frame and remember pick position X and Y hold the position on the buffer where I'm going to draw my frame and this is width and height so after blitting the frame that I want I will draw the buffer to the screen I will rest for a hundred millisecond I will clear the buffer and then I will draw the buffer to the screen again then this is important I will increment frame by one so the next time I'm pressing the key left frame will have a value of one so this will be this will have a value of 40 and this will still have a value of 0 so I'm still going to be I'm going to be drawing the second frame but I'm still going to be going to the left and then this repeats until frame has a value of 9 then I'm asking it to make frame 0 again so I'm going to, from 0 to 8 that's 9 frames I don't I only have nine frames I don't have a tenth frame so if it reaches the tenth if it reaches to ten well actually if it reaches to nine set frame back to zero this is essentially the same thing for the right key but with the difference that here I am initializing this variable to right remember right has a value of one so when I first press the key right frame is gonna have a value of zero Um, direction is going to have a value of 1 so this is going to be 0 and 49 so I'm going to um, the function is going to draw the frames that are going to the right here um, I also have that in the left I forgot to tell you guys that but um, I'm changing the position of pick position X this is so that the the frame can move across the screen. So since I'm going, I want to move to the right. I am going to increment it by 10. If I'm moving to the left, I am going to dec decrease it by 10. You can decrease it by however much you want, but 10 works for me, so that's why I'm using 10. So that's pretty much the whole program. Once I press the key Escape, I'm going to destroy the sprite and then that's it. So if I run it so there you have it you can move left and right. You can apply the same concept to up and down as long as you have the 
sprite sheet for that. Also, um, one more thing, if the, the because of the way I am, I wrote the code, nothing will appear on the screen until you press either the key left or right. So um, to change that, all you have to do is just um, blit up a frame up here, here in this area. You blit a frame, and then you draw the buffer to the screen, and that should do it. So if you have any comments or question, just let me know and I'll try my best to answer you. And also if you like this video, you can check out my other videos and if you like them, just subscribe.